Now we are discussing use of ferrites in the construction of high frequency inductors. Why we are using the ferrites? Already we discussed there are different types of core materials. Air core, iron core, ferrite core. This air and iron core materials they cannot be used at the high frequencies. If this is the circuit symbol of an inductor, when I use the high frequency voltage, there is a chance that if I use the iron core, then this iron may give the current which is not wanted by us. So we are calling that current as eddy current. As of now, this eddy current regarding this you will come to know maybe in the second year. But here in the electronic components and power supplies as of now, there is no need to mention what eddy current losses are occurring in the whenever we take the inductor or transformers that anyway you will going to learn them. Now according to us eddy current means the unwanted current. Why this unwanted current is coming? Because of this iron core. When we are supplying the current, even though we are supplying the voltage, the current obviously we can observe here. When there is a change in the voltage, obviously there is a change in the current. Inductor is opposing the change in current. When the change in voltage is high, obviously the change in current is also high here. That when the change in current is high, the inductor opposes more and more back EMF is observed. Now if we give very high frequency voltage, then there is a possibility that the air and iron core inductors, what we are using for the low frequencies, they may give the unwanted current which is called as eddy current. To avoid this eddy current, we are choosing ferrite core. Why we are using this ferrite core? What is the speciality of this ferrite core compared to the iron core? Ferrite is a non-conductive material. So this is a non-conductive material. Means it simply behaves like an insulator. If it is non-conductive material, I can use plastic also. Na? Then plastic core inductor. Why I am using ferrite? Ferrite is a magnetic material. Means even though it is non-conductor, even though this ferrite is not allowing the current through that material, but it has the capability to store the magnetic field lines. If we take the plastic, it is also non-conductive material, but it do not has the capability to store the magnetic field lines. That's why we are choosing the ferrite core materials whenever there is a requirement for the high frequencies inductors. So this is the chemical formula of the ferrite. M O F E 2 O 3. Sir, what is this M? This is the metal. If we change the metal, the ferrite is changed. Example, we can use manganese or we can use nickel or we can use magnesium or we can use microwave ferrites. Now, this manganese and nickel ferrites, when we use the manganese ferrites, when we use the manganese and this O is oxygen. Fu2O3 is ferrous oxide, that's what we call as a ferrite. So when we use the manganese, this ferrite can be operated from the frequency 4 kHz to 1 MHz. So this is uh, in the AM, AM whenever amplitude modulation that you will learn in the second year, maybe in that range whenever you want to operate an inductor, then there is a possibility that you can choose this manganese ferrite core. If we are if we want to use more than 1 megahertz, if we want to uh, use some above 40 megahertz range, if we want to operate an inductor at above 40 megahertz range frequency, then we have to use the nickel. This nickel ferrite core can be operated above 40 megahertz range. Generally, we have some storage devices. These storage devices, they have the capability to store the magnetic field lines and they store the information either that is a picture or your textbook or audio or the video. That entire information can be stored in the form of the magnetic field lines and when again you connect to the any magnetic disk that will give the information that is stored in that drive. So these magnetic drives 
the information that is stored in the form of the magnetic field lines because we are using the magnesium ferrites. These are also high frequency ferrite core inductors only but they have the capability to store the magnetic field lines in the form of a disk. And when you want to operate in the range of the 1 gigahertz, when you want to use an inductor, this inductor can send the signal from here to satellite. You have invented one device. In that you need, there is a need for an inductor. Then to operate the, in the frequency above 1 gigahertz, we can use the microwave ferrites. Okay. So ferrites we are using at the low frequencies or high frequencies. High frequencies. Ferrite is a conductive material or non-conductive material? Uh, it is a magnetic material or non-magnetic material? Very good. What is the chemical formula of the ferrite? Manganese ferrites are used in the frequency range 4 kHz to 1 mega. Nickel ferrites are used in the above 40 MHz frequency range. Magnesium ferrites are used to store the uh, above 100 megahertz we will use this is used to store the information in the storage devices we will use microwave ferrites are used above 1 gigahertz frequency